We continue with team coverage with just over a month away from the presidential election. Local voters, a lot of them say they were put off by the tone of Sunday's debate. CBS 4's Joel Flores sat down with a psychologist and has more on about the average undecided voter. Someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. With all honesty, I think the election is kind of a circus, pure honesty, but you, it's kind of like we don't really have that much of a choice, so you got to pick the lesser of two evils. The two options that we have are really, like, they're both equal. I don't think that Donald Trump is capable of being a good president for us. And what Hillary Clinton proposes to us, it sounds good, but I just don't think that she's capable or she's going to stick to what she says that she's going to do for us. With Election Day just around the corner, voters who aren't committed to either Donald Trump nor Hillary Clinton make up about 15% of the electorate, according to Real Clear Politics statistics. Both major candidates have been in public life for decades. We pretty much know everything that there is to know about them. And I think uh, for some for some voters who are on the fence, you know, maybe they're just kind of holding out. With all the negative advertisement towards each of the presidential candidates, voters find themselves undecided. That is the, the psychological principle that people tend to remember negative information uh, more than positive information. I think in politics, as in lots of other things, um, it's often an emotional decision. Dr. Paul Gonzalez, a psychology professor at South Texas College, also tells CBS4 people tend to usually vote for candidates based on how likable or relatable they are. Every time we ask Donald Trump a question, he never answers it. He, I hate that. Like, I do not. I dislike that very much. Like, if they ask you a simple question, there's a simple question, give an answer, that's it. And he just makes it more complicated than whatever it is. That's one thing that was, like, leaning more towards Hillary. But Dr. Gonzalez added that if voters do not agree with the current government, the only way to make a difference is by voting. You get the government that we, that we vote for. In Hidalgo County, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Here's a look at those very important campaign 2016 dates for you to remember. Early voting begins October 24th, and Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th. We will have full coverage of local and national races for you.